Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have another pretty cool barn find for you guys. And you may notice we're back in the same shop we did the last Corvette in. Now if you didn't see that video, basically the owner of the shop bought the Corvette and this 1996 Chevy Impala from the same barn about 10 years ago. And they've both sat around for the exact same amount of time in a corner of his shop. And one really fun fact that we didn't find out until about halfway through the detail, the owner before this one was the first owner, and he actually bought the car on the exact date I was born, even the same year, which was mind-blowing. We found a piece of paper that showed it, and we were laughing about it because we thought it was really, really cool. But if you guys enjoy these type of videos, make sure you hit the like button for us and subscribe to the channel. Our one year on YouTube is coming up at the end of February, and if we could hit 50,000 subscribers by that time, that would be really cool. And we have a huge giveaway for you guys, so hit the subscribe button.
Now it's time to do the question of the video as usual. Make sure you guys leave your answers in the comments below. I haven't asked this question in a while, but I actually wanted to know where you guys are from and what's one fun thing you like to do where you're from. So for example, I live in Cleveland, Ohio, and we have a lot of cool parks here and some cool places that you can go visit downtown. What do you guys like to do where you're from? Make sure you answer in the comments below. So the shop actually doesn't have any floor drains inside and we would have preferred to wash the car outside obviously but it was under 20 degrees out so we decided to wash it inside and then squeegee all of the water out after we were done drying the car which I actually filmed some of it for you guys to watch. Now after giving the car a good rinse, we sprayed on our iron fallout remover and clay barred the whole car to get as much of the contaminants off the paint as possible before going into the polishing stage.
And with the polishing, we wanted to give you guys a little before and after, so we put some tape down and did one side of it. And after we peel the tape off, you'll see that it actually turned out really, really good. A lot of the scratches and marring got taken out by the polishing. And although the paint wasn't perfect, we were super happy with the results for the amount of time that we put in. Alright guys, so I don't know if I just didn't have enough Wheaties in the morning or what, but I'm personally exhausted. This car kicked my, uh, kicked my butt. So, I'm glad it's over, uh, but we think it, it came out really, really well. Uh, the owner's super happy. He didn't want to come on camera and say how happy he was, so you'll just have to take our word. <laughs> um, but yeah, aside from that... Yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up for us and subscribe to the channel. And other than that, we'll see you guys next Friday. Peace.